we're having fun tonight. We've got a bunch of media folks, a bunch of local friends, uh, Main Street merchants hanging out here at the Wasatch Brew Pub. And we're primarily just having a good time, but tasting our new Ghost Rider White IPA. It's a beer we just recently introduced and just getting out in the marketplace. And uh, we're pretty proud of it. It's, we think it's going to be a big hit. Uh, it's just been out for a couple weeks now, but it's um, getting excellent reviews. It's kind of a, I would describe it as a Belgian style IPA, if that makes any sense. And by that, it's unfiltered. It, um, we use an ale yeast, we don't use a Belgian yeast, but it has some coriander and it has a white effervescence and uh, a lot of um, citrus notes. So um, we think it's a unique IPA. A lot of the IPAs that are coming out uh, are just bigger and bigger hop bombs, which is cool. You know, we love hops too, but this beer is a little different style. It's meant to be a more quaffable IPA, meaning that, um, you know, you pick up the citrus. 6% ABV, about 70 IBUs. So meant to be really quaffable. Uh, you know, not a, not a real endurance contest, just a nice beer. Oddly enough, uh, when we got it all rolled out, summer's around the corner, we hope, and uh, we think it's going to be especially refreshing in the summer because it has that citrus uh, nose to it. So Adam's been with us for, uh, I don't know, a lot of years, 15 plus years, and um, he's a very creative uh, beer enthusiast, and you asked the question about how we come up with a new beer. And, you know, the textbook answer is it's, it's a really collaborative effort where we all get together around a round table and think about a new idea. But to be honest with you, on this particular beer, the Ghost Rider, the white IPA, it was really Adam's creation. And uh, I'll let him tell the story because it, although there was a degree of collaboration, Adam not only came up with the style, but he also came up with the name. So Adam, why don't you tell how you get inspired? Um, really, I, I woke up in the middle of the night with an idea for this beer. Um, it, was, it was almost shocking. I like sat up in bed and I was like, Ghost Rider, White IPA, I've got it! You know, it was just like, I don't, I, I don't know really where it came from, but I laid back down thinking, I've got to remember this, I've got to remember this. So the first thing I did when I woke up in the morning was tell my girlfriend I came up with a new beer. And then the next thing I did was walk into Greg's office and say, Greg, I've got it. <laughs> And everything kind of fell into line after that. Adam, uh, once you came up with a name, how did we come up with the graphics? So I kind of I had an idea for the graphics, and it was uh, you know this idea to have this dead horse and a dead rider on a dead horse. And I talked to our to Steve Kessler, who is a guy that does a lot of our graphic design, who happens to be my brother-in-law actually, um, but he's insanely talented. And he initially was gonna farm it out to another artist, but that artist ended up being busy, so Steve and I sat down and, you know, he kind of got a vibe off of what I wanted and just ran with it and made it look like that and really right out of the gate just nailed it, I, I think. And then we had, you know, we love the name, we love the whole Western feel and kind of the, the fun aspect, but we were a little concerned about maybe the potential trademark infringements. So uh, we had to run it up the flagpole with um, the trademark uh, registration people, lawyers, and um, it really was uh, not incredibly protected as a trademark, so we were legally available to use the name Ghost Rider, which we think uh, is a pretty good image for the Wild West. And we're just getting the beer out in the marketplace. You can always come to the beer store in Salt Lake. You can always come to the Wasatch Brew Pub if you're in Park City, because we have a beer license here where we can sell higher alcohol beers, including the Ghost Rider and our, and our other great beers like Hop Rising or Devastator. But, uh, and they're cold. And they're cold here. And, or you can go to your local store. It's, it's pretty well distributed throughout Utah now in your DABC liquor store. We're still working through some of those um, bumps, but basically available wherever good beer is sold.